Who the hell? And now your lyrics, bro, are like on that, it's like on some other shit, like on some godly shit. At 17. You're channeling God is like through your music and shit right now. You know that shit, right? I'm channeling God? Yeah. Yeah, so for about a few months now, you feel me? Chill out at your music. I met that crazy ass ugly nigga by um fucking just bit. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, I met that nigga through uh, fucking through, Lo through Lofty. He's always been a fan of the Metro Zoo, you know what I'm saying? He's been kicking it with us for a long time. And uh, since he was like 15, I didn't even know when he had, to, he had this crazy nappy ass fro. I was like, what the fuck is that on your head, you feel me? But like, he's just, that's my nigga, you feel me? Like, he holds it down for, for what he's doing at such a young age. I'm, I'm glad to be a part, part of his project. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to know all these niggas, all the clan, you feel me? It's, it's a blessing, you feel me? How's it been working with Denzel? <sighs> It's been a it's been a true blessing, but it has its moments, man, where I just wanna take that nigga and choke slam the fuck out of him. Okay, okay, um, yeah, I'm Denzel Cutty. This is Lofty. This is Max Stoops, and this is my manager, Mark MC9. And we're gonna go home. I just want it. Cause that nigga is so annoying sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, bro. You're like you be in the zone, this nigga just like come in. Hey, let me let me, let me join on the beat. Let me join on the beat. Start pressing shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, just you know what I'm saying. Fuck that. But nah, that's my nigga. You feel me? That's like my little brother, and I understand why he's like that. You feel me? He has a lot of energy. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out, man. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. God damn it. Get on that side. Tap out. Get ass. My name is Poncho, aka DJ Maneuvers. Uh, I am a producer slash DJ slash creative person type individual. I, I met Denzel through my man Mark, Mark uh, Matura, I believe that's how you pronounce it, right? And um, he came to me with a uh, Actually, well, that's how I met him. I heard of him maybe through Sharp, I think. Sharp might have put me on. Uh, and um, Mark came through, you know, Mr. Uh, a and R. What is it? Dame Dash Jr. <laughs> uh, he told me he was, uh, you know, he started to work with some new people and he really wanted to work with new talent. Um, so he, he linked up with to Zell, and he's been trying to push him, so he's like, look, I'm working on an album. This dude, Denzel, I think he's gonna, you know, be a pretty serious player within the Miami scene and whatnot, and I've been working with Mark on the backroom session things at, um, at uh, Chocolate Sundays. So I was like, yo, man, anything you want, I'm about to help you out. So that's kind of how it came, came about. How's it been working on the project so far? It's been cool, you know. Uh, it's definitely, I think it's important one way or another to keep an ear to like what's going on, you know, within Miami, within the younger generation. You know, I've been making music for a while. I've been through different phases. I've seen people in the scene in Miami in general go through different like phases or whatnot. And uh, it's good to like be able to tap into people that are doing things on their own, independent, not necessarily any support from either corporate or you know major label or anything like that so it's definitely dope seeing a whole new scene of like dudes just making noise like you know 
It's definitely something I'm not gonna lie, something different. Uh, the whole Raider clan, they got their sound and their movement, but I I, I admire that. I think it's it's definitely something to like appreciate and look forward to people that can make their own lane within music and be like, fuck that, we got our own shit going on, you know. So What's it like working with Denzel? Huh? What's it like working with Denzel? You know, that's us a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that 299 clan shit, bitch. Bitch. Right that was loud enough, nigga. Nigga. That my nigga Miami, Jace, that my nigga Denzel, motherfucking Curry. Ah, he is killing my nigga clan. That my nigga's Curtis Williams. Ah, all my niggas here Siege. Got all them niggas, you feel me? Greenlawn Park, where you know what it is. 299 X clan, nigga. nigga Steve O'Dell, you know what it is. Nigga, boy out here, nigga. Eight town, east side, nigga. Two seven five. done a track uh, for him and Jay Nix and that was the first time he came through to my studio. Um, it was the first time we met and we've been kicking ever since. Okay. What would you describe um, the sound? How would you describe the sound of the album so far? <sighs> Legendary, epic, uh, shit. cinematic. crafting like full songs you know actually taking the time to sit down and write because you know sometimes he freestyles or whatnot so this is you could say kind of like his first album in a sense mixtape album these days i don't know really what's the difference this, this is going to be special i think his fans are really going to freak out um 
I mean, he's been able to build a fan base off of just putting out like three lo-fi tapes and doing a couple features here and there and whatnot. So I know once he gives them his full potential and shows the world his full potential, then from there the sky's the limit. And he's gonna shine brighter than he's ever did. And he's probably gonna be one of the top artists in Miami. I can guarantee that.